At 1.24 p.m. on Wednesday, just off of Melrose Avenue in the Bronx, our photojournalist Darren McQuaid found this. The night before, PIX11 reporter Jay Dow uncovered what some are calling a hub for heroin. A stash of used hypodermic needles found in a stack of trash right outside Immaculate Conception School. The streets is where we walk, where we live, where we breathe, where we eat, where we do everything. When PIX11 arrived Wednesday afternoon to check if anything was being done. Every day you find needles. Right, that's right. That's why we're here to investigate. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's sad. Pix 11 it. found a crew of sanitation workers like a, a combing the streets, going through trash cans and looking for needles. Taking Finally, out. about time. But we looked around and found used hypodermic needles under parked cars on the sidewalks and their orange covers littering the ground. It's hard to explain as a mom why these needles are on the floor. And it wasn't hard to find the people using them. Back in September of 2016, a Bronx mom reached out to Pix 11 for help. The city stepped in then too and did a cleanup, eventually adding needle disposal boxes as well. It's been going on for years and it's going to continue going on for years. Not just today because our cameras are yes. here, but every day. Yes, every, every day. day. Rose Pilot lives in this neighborhood and says she's glad about all the attention now. But she says it's a reflection of a much deeper problem, a drug problem that just won't go away. Yeah, I see them every morning. Sleeping in the streets. Well, you can clean up the needles, but the drug problem is still underneath, isn't it? Yes, it is. Councilmember Rafael Salamanca, who represents the district, says, quote, My office is committed to protecting our community at all costs to ensure they are not exposed to drugs or drug paraphernalia. It's not only here, it's wow. everywhere. Wow. It's everywhere. It's Janie Maldonado says the solution here runs deeper than just cleaning up the trash. It's a drug epidemic that's now out of the shadows and in the streets. In the Bronx, Monica Morales, PIX11 News.